everyone, it's Christina of Crafty Paws. I wanted to come on and share a few projects that I've made for Jeannie, who is happily Ella after here on YouTube. She is hosting a Gorgeous Girl Challenge, and that's not that you have to use Gorgeous Girl images in your projects, but just that her prizes are going to be Gorgeous Girl themed. So, she has lots and lots of ways to participate, and I chose the ways that I normally like to craft. I don't do pocket letters or flip books. I gave those things a try and they just weren't me. <laughs> so I picked out uh, making a card, making a index card, an ATC, and some stick pins. And so let me first share with you guys the birthday card that I made. And you probably, if you watch my channel, saw that I made a card with this image. This is an MFT stamp called You Have My Heart. And I actually colored up two of them. I watercolored two of them with watercolor pencils. But this one came out much darker because I wet the tip of the pencil with a water brush and then put the pencil directly to the stamped image so that it came out much more intense. The water almost melts the watercolor pencils. So you get this really deep, rich kind of uh, darker intensity and so because of that I wanted to not have a kind of pale sky background and I decided I was gonna try my Ken Oliver color burst and I used indigo which has blues and purples in it and I left this area white to be kind of like a wispy cloud I followed a card design that I saw oh my gosh I've forgotten her name but it, uh, she her blog is uh, houses built of cards so I did my own twist on it. I picked out some pattern papers that were in my card scrap box, and then I added some flat back pearls. And really the big key to adding flat back pearls, in my opinion, for cards, is to just make sure that you space them out when you're trying to turn a corner. So you can see here, anyway, my camera is not cooperating with me, so you're not getting a clear image here. But basically I made sure that I left the little threads that are on this trim between each of the pearls so that there's an equal spacing when I use this little strip of trim and then added this little strip of trim. This is not actually all connected, but I spaced them out to look like they were connected. And then inside I covered up this side of the card interior because of the stitching that I did at the top with my sewing machine and I just with my scraps, made some little banners, some fishtail banners, and then I stamped out from a different MFT stamp set. This is from the Lucky Dog stamp set, Woofing You a Happy Birthday. So that's the birthday card I'm gonna be sending Jeannie. Then I decided to create a index card using some of my favorites. This is the, from the Hatter collection of The Greeting Farm. And I colored this up, fussy cut her out. I used a Winnie and Walter heart, uh, cut out of gold foil paper, backed it with some pink glitter paper, and then used more scraps from my scrap box. I had some wood veneer flowers, and I thought that would add continue adding some nice metallic shimmer. I added on top of that gold, champagne gold stickle, so there's lots of shine and shimmer and sparkle. Um, a very girly card, so that's my index card. And this is a similar... Uh, ATC card that I did with a different image that colored up from the Hatter collection. More of those wood veneer glitter uh, flowers. And then this one, I really like actually that this heart was a little big for this ATC. ATCs are two and a half inches by three and a half inches. And so I turned the corner and I love how that went on the back and I still have to put my ATC label on, but that's the ATC. And then I made coordinating stick pins this one in blacks and pinks, this one in blues, and I added a little bird charm that I clipped the top loop of that charm off. And so those will tuck in right there and right there. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful crafty day. Thanks so much for watching.